The Home Secretary, Theresa May, has denied that Olympic security is a shambles after the military was called in to plug a gap left by the failure of private provider G4S, who, of course, got a base in Worcester. With just two weeks to go until the opening ceremony, an extra 3,500 servicemen and women are being flown in after G4S said it might not be able to provide enough guards for all the venues. Many have recently served in Afghanistan and are facing cuts in the biggest restructuring of the service for decades. Theresa May insisted there was no question of Olympic security being compromised. PC John Tully is chairman of the Metropolitan Police Federation. Thanks for coming on the programme this morning. Would you agree this looks like a shambles? Good morning, Howard. Um, well, shambles has been used quite across the board to describe this uh, debacle, I would call it. Um, I, I think G4S have, have put public safety at risk. They've taken a business decision to train and employ people at a very late stage. They've had years to, pre to prepare for this and clearly they're trying to maximise their profits and I believe that some of their senior people need to consider their position, resign or indeed be sacked. So private companies then, what you're saying here, just can't do the level of security that, that we need for events like the Olympics? Well I think that Lowcock took a decision that they were going to employ a private company and the, the company they chose was G4S and they have to resolve their contractual problems with them. But I think uh, when things go wrong, the last line of defence is the police service. That thin blue line that people refer to is uh, really under pressure at the moment. We've got government cuts of t up, to, up to 20% uh, across the board, meaning 16,000 less police officers. Uh, demands on what we do daily are increase. We've been asked to do more for less, uh, and all you get for less is less. Uh, there's only a certain number of hours in the day. My members are exhausted because of the work they've been asked to do. Um, all leave is cancelled, uh, but at the end of the day, they're professional, they're very, very de dedicated, and they will do what's required. Just uh, reading that uh, Surrey Police have now uh, shelved plans uh, to use G4S after this uh, debacle around the Olympics. Uh, obviously, with all the cuts and everything that are, that are planned, we could see more and more of this that private companies are coming in. Are they up to the job day to day? Well, I think Lincolnshire and uh, West Mids and Surrey have, have taken a toe in the water, if you like, towards privatisation. G4S seem to be the company of choice. Um, whether there's any links to government or anything like that, that needs to be proved or disproved. Uh, but I think, you know, public service, public safety, it, it can't be left to amateurs. It has to be done by professionals, uh, and I think the, the, the professionals we need to see on the streets policing are police officers, warranted police officers. PC John Tully, Chairman of the Metropolitan Police Federation.